What's up guys? Good morning! It is the day of embarkation day to board Royal Caribbean's largest cruise ship in the world, Icon of the Seas. We are so, so excited Everyone's for this one. Everyone's so excited. We're ready. I woke up and was like, I am so excited. Yeah, I've never seen her so excited before. I don't know what she's most excited about, but for me, <laughs> it's definitely seeing the Pearl, which good for us is one of the very first things that I get to see when we walk on the ship. From my understanding is that is the first thing you see when you walk on the ship. So I can't wait for all that. We're about to start driving. It's about an hour drive to the terminal. And so we're about to make that journey right now. And we will see you guys in the terminal or on the ship. Guys, we finally made it to the port and Crown's Edge is right behind me. I think me and mom are doing that on Wednesday. So make sure you guys are liking and subscribing. We're supposed to get a video of that after we complete the uh, walk and drop off the side of the ship. And we should be sailing at that time. So the water will be moving below our feet. The kids are downstairs. Everyone's downstairs waiting to check in to board the ship. We got here a little early. So I'm gonna see if it's possible to fly the drone off the top of this garage. I don't know if that's possible or not. I'm gonna see if there's any restrictions in the area or not. If it's safe to fly, I may fly and try to get some shots of Icon of the Seas. <music> Look at all the colors, isn't it cool? I love it. This is the last one. Here we go. So we got on way too fast and 1040 so we have to wait about 20 more minutes 10 15 minutes to get food so we're gonna go check out Surfside first yeah. the carousel and all the fun things to do out there and a big pink flamingo and there's a slide you can take down Guys, we've been on the ship for like three, four, five minutes and already way more impressive than anything we've been on. Actually, the kids are already first in line to get their face painting already. <laughs> right. I gotta do the slide too. Here we go. This is the arcade, and of course, Isla's already ready to play some of the games. I want to get one of those cool ducks with the logo on it. Isla wants a glittery duck, but she also wants to play Mario. She's very good at Mario. Last time we were on Harmony, our alert, she won pretty much every Mario game. So this is pretty cool arcade, you guys. Way better than any we've seen so far. Now we're heading back to the Windjammer. It's just time to get some food. The kids already got arm paintings that say Icon super cool. And Especially because last cruise we did not get one single face paint. Already, and they so told us. On. Yeah. And they do it every day. Every day. What? Come look over here by the turtle. Woo! 
Wow, it's a blue duck. What's on it? Look, it's got something on it. It's got like a smiley face. That's painted on there. It's supposed to stay on there. Number two. Dad's <laughs> on a roll. I know, two and it's not even one o'clock yet. Yeah. Truth entering our room, infinite balcony room. Wow. So we just got to our room and we've just barely started exploring it, and it's pretty amazing. I mean, right when you walk in, you get the bathroom right there next to this awesome touch screen. And we have a shower. We have a shower. Wow, that's a nice shower. <laughs> we have a shower. It's got a bench, which is nice. Go guys. Oh. Isla testing out the bench. Me too. You too? That's not the bench, this is the bench. <laughs> That's Aria's okay. bench. And now, for the rest of the room. Jeez, that one's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> so just so you guys know, this glass mirror does pull back. And there's your safe behind there. More storage and plugs, which is amazing, especially for us vlogging people. USB plugs on both sides of the bed, which is awesome. And a plug on this side. Jennifer said that she's heard that uh, her curling iron does not work. We haven't obviously- the voltage. I don't think it's everyone. I think just some rooms. Yeah, obviously we haven't tested it yet, but she bought a adapter plug, adapter, converter, to plug into the Gotta Europe one. Care. So hopefully that works out there. But yeah, tons of plugs. I mean, there's USBs everywhere, plugs everywhere. Uh, almost seems like we didn't even need to get our uh, extension cord on here. Oh yeah, we got it on. We did get it on because it was in your bag. It did go off, but they never checked it. stop putting the cord on I didn't even remember that. Do you guys know the window does come down, comes into a balcony. The kids get to play in this area. The window's up nice and safe, which is mom's biggest fear about having a balcony room is kids being outside and being able to climb and fall off the ship. But this way, they cannot do that. But we also get more extra space in this area, which is a nice little play area. And they're little play area. They're already like talking about coloring over there. Yeah. That's where they'll be. So that in a nutshell is our room that we're gonna be staying in for the next seven days. We barely explored the ship. It's, it feels like we've been like a million places already. but. We've barely yeah, explored see. anything. We haven't even been up on the water park area and things yeah, like that. Yeah. As you can see, Isla's already taken down the window, which <laughs> is already getting mom scared here. But anyways, guys, we're going to get settled in, then we'll go back to exploring the ship and see what we can find. We've already found two ducks, which is amazing. We'll start hiding our own ducks here in just a little bit as well. But for now, we're going to unpack. Our luggage is already here. Get settled in and then explore the ship that some more. That has to be like record time. What? record time to get our luggage. Oh yeah, and it's all here. We've yet to have all of our luggage show up because we've always got dinged for <laughs> extension cord, yeah. but now we put it in the carry-on, didn't get dinged for that, so that's how that worked out. And we got, we had to be like the first like 100 people to drop our luggage off. So. Oh yeah, we were here really, really early. So that's the other thing real quick is actually the boarding, a tip to do the boarding when you get here. If you get here real early, there's and if you don't have the key or express lane, which if you want the express lane, you got to fill out everything on the app, including taking your own photo. Mom did not do that, so we did not get the express boarding, but that's okay. They actually, if you do get the express boarding, you basically board at the same time as the key people, so that's actually really beneficial from that standpoint. But if you guys get here like we did, we actually had 11 o'clock, 11.30 boarding time. But there is multiple lanes. If you're looking at the entry, we're on the left side and there's like four lanes for, and they all had a designated time. But as soon as they let everyone on the ship from the key and express lane, which was really quick, they started letting them on at 10. They let us on almost immediately and we were on the ship within 10 minutes. Oh yeah, we, we were here before 11.30. We were definitely here by 10, 10.30, something like that. So that is the pro which tip. we do not normally come before our boarding time, but yeah. Since we're out of state, we didn't really have a choice. We got our transportation here early, so we just got lucky that they were letting us on.
we've officially set sail and we've got our window open to wave bye to all the people that are waving to us on shore and we are setting sail first stop I think is St. Martin or St. Thomas not sure which one I forget we'll have to go back and check on that so we just got back from the pool which was insanely crazy with a bunch of kids which is probably what is intended with this cruise ship obviously where we were at is more of the kids zone and we haven't even explored half the ship yet we still haven't even gone out onto the front part of the ship at all where they have the aqua dome and all kinds of other things we got to go check that out still need to try to find rover sometime on this trip hopefully we can find her right now we're getting ready to go to dinner isla wants to hit up the arcade and then we have a great show at the very end which will be the wizard of oz <laughs> spectacular i think it was just as good as the movie if not better than the movie too bad I, I i like this um the sister one not the witch you didn't like the witch you like the good witch glinda <laughs> the sparkly one is that her real name in the movie i have no idea i, I haven't seen is. the movie in forever but i think it was just as good as the movie from what i remember of the movie yeah but same remember the girl i see she sings well, yes, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any, any video, really, just because they told us at the beginning, don't do any videoing, so I have obeyed the laws. For once. Yeah. <laughs> Forever! But it was really good. You guys, if you do come on Icon in the Seas and get a chance to see... The witch was murdered, but um, she, she didn't die. She just come up another. Spoiler alert! <laughs> <laughs> So, so if you guys get a chance to come see it, it's totally worth the time. I think it's actually and way the up there is from, good. from all the shows we've seen on Allure of the Seas, yeah, Harmony of the Seas, this so one. The is, is, is cool. <laughs> This one is definitely top of the list, so you gotta make it a priority to see this one. So tomorrow we actually are going to see the ice skating show, and then of course the third day we're seeing the aqua show, so it should be really fun. We're gonna head out and try to maybe snack on some pizza or go get yeah, the something. food market and maybe run into Rover, who knows? <laughs> but all in an attempt to try to get to stay up until the balloon drop yeah. because that's what Isla really Isla wants to do. I always ask to do that. And yeah! Now, Tired. Whether or not we make it to the balloon drop, we have no idea. If we do make it, we'll put it at the end of this video. But for now, guys, make sure you're liking, subscribing. Tomorrow's day two of this epic adventure on Icon Lots of the Seas. To see. Lots to see. Lots to do. We barely got hardly anything done today because the ship is so large. So make sure you're tuning in tomorrow. We'll see you guys then. Bye. Bye. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is day two on Icon of the Seas. I can't believe it's already day two, but we stayed up until midnight 
can't believe we made it that long. Barely made it that long, but it was totally worth it. It was fun. The kids got a balloon and got to bring it back to the cabin, which was great. Starting day two, we have no idea what we're going to do. We started really, really late. It's already 12 o'clock <laughs> right at noon. Of course, we lost an hour because of daylight savings time, so we moved forward one hour. And that happened? Yep, that happened during the night. That's why it's been... Oh, okay, that's why. Yeah, well, it still would be like 11 o'clock, so it's still pretty pretty late for us, but the kids got a good night's sleep, and what was awesome is this blind basically made it completely dark yeah, I think the entire that's time. Why we slept so yeah, good. absolutely. So, with day two, what has been the best thing we've done so far? Well, the girls would tell you the carousel and the slide. On yeah, the surf side. we've done the surfside slide probably 20,000 times already. So, there's still a lot more for us to explore, and so that's what we're going to be doing today is just doing more exploring of the ship. Maybe do some water rides. I don't really know. Maybe not. It's Maybe probably tomorrow. Gonna be, yeah, the lines are probably going to be really long, but certainly tomorrow we have the Crown's Edge, so you guys are going to want to see that. That's going to be quite entertaining. Girls will try out the kids' club today. Yep. So, those are a few things that we have on our list to do today, so make sure you guys stick with us. Set me free We started our day off with face painting. That's probably going to be a tradition that we're due all the time because they're open every day in the morning for sure. And so we'll start off a day, we'll probably be getting face painting and of course, then the carousel. We were waiting in line for the carousel and look at this little baby duck Aria found right in line. Aria is the luckiest person in the world. It must be that lucky duck on her shirt because she was the last one to get cotton candy for this hour. <laughs> they reopen at five. Set me free. Set me free. Well guys, Royal Caribbean has done a fantastic job of trapping all the families with kids especially around our age, yeah, uh, all on deck seven, six, and maybe even a little bit of eight, because that's where all the kids adventure stuff is at, Adventure Ocean, the splash area, Surfside is what they call it, it's carousel. I mean, you literally don't have to leave that area because they got the food down there, which by the way, the churros from that place are a must. Even if you don't have kids, you have to find your way down there and get those because they're nice and kind of I'm going back after dinner. <laughs> they're definitely warm when they come out, and yeah. they're just amazing. You get four little ones in a bag. Jennifer claimed she didn't know that, so she got like 12 of them. <laughs> I said I needed three. Yeah. Uh -huh. I got three bags before. Yeah. And so we uh, we were going to drop the kids off at Adventure Ocean, but they decided at the last minute not to go to Adventure Ocean, which is totally fine. They said maybe tomorrow, which, yeah. speaking of which, uh, if anyone's wondering our password <laughs> is ice cream. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Jennifer was like, hey, if you ever have to pick up the kids from Adventure Ocean, you're going to need to know the password. I was like, oh, you know, it's probably CIWTG, something like that, something simple like we always use. And I was like, well, what is it? And she's like, oh, it's ice cream. <laughs> I have no idea why it's ice cream. <laughs> Set me free. 
You found another baby duck? Wow, that's like four for you. It's actually a formal night and we haven't even said to anyone yet but we're not actually doing any of the main dining this time because one they kind of messed up our reservations again which they've done that in the past two times yeah. I don't know what's going on with that but anyways we don't really care because it's all the same food that we've had on Harmony and Allure on the past two ships that we've been on so no big deal for that we've already had it seen it been there done that more of a selection yeah, more. We're really just really missing out on what the experience of dining there is really like, and Which of course, I like, but... seeing what the venue kind of looks like. But it's no no big deal. And we kind of actually kind of been liking just going to dinner whenever we want. I know they have my time dining for that, but well, we don't feel like we have to rush out. Yeah, we don't have to make plans for anything, go anywhere, do whatever we want. We just kind of are going at our own pace, which is nice, especially with the kids, because their dinner times go all crazy. Yeah. Last thing I forgot to mention is I got a wow band on the very first day, which was crazy because I, mean, I probably went around one o'clock and they were almost all gone. I got a little nice little yellow one. I wanted a blue or a white one, but I got a yellow one. I would totally recommend getting one for sure uh, because I mean it opens up all the doors. It's nine ninety nine. I need you to can... buy my card actually. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you can literally do almost anything with it. You just can't take your kids to Venture Ocean with it and leave them there. And of course, when you get on and off the ship at ports, you have to have your card for that too. And I know where your card is, I'm just waiting for you to find it. <laughs> <laughs> so with that guys, it is a formal night for us and we're going to head out to the Woodjammer and then we got an awesome ice skating show tonight. Gotta go early to get good seats. Yeah, because we didn't do that last night with Rouse. We did get good seats for that though, kind of not yeah. the ones I wanted, but that's okay. So, ice skating show and who knows, we may stumble across Rover, maybe, maybe Hopefully. not. Who Probably knows, not. still on the hunt for Rover. Yeah as we were on the hunt for ducks today. So stick with us guys, that's where we're heading to next. show was pretty cool we'll give a full rundown of what way everyone thinks about how it went down but right now we promised the kids some candy from the candy shop we said that earlier in the day so we're gonna fulfill that promise get some candy and of course ride the carousel that's how we're gonna end today we'll see you guys in a little bit back in our room So what did you think of the ice skating show? Was that the best show you've ever seen on bah! ice skating bah! on a cruise ship? Bah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to her. So what do you think? It was good. You liked it? <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so Isla liked it, Ari didn't like it, which I know she liked it because she didn't yeah. say a word the whole time. I am amazed at these two shows. Ari is literally like in awe the whole time. Uh, like, yeah, especially since the, sh the shows start at 8, 8.30, all the shows we're going to be seeing, but they start pretty late. And she's been watching. She hasn't fallen asleep. She's been completely no, interested. No, like she doesn't even get like antsy at the end really yeah. or... no. So it worked out for sure. And obviously, you guys see we got candy. We talked about getting candy for them. So there you go. They got candy. And, but this one over here is already hungry again. But we got to go to bed because it's already 1030. We stayed up until midnight, actually 1230 yeah. yesterday. Slept until almost 11. Yeah. So we're signing out right now. But tomorrow is a big day because we are doing Crown's Edge. In the morning. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah. Really. She it, says it, that now. It seems like <laughs> nothing. When she looks down and sees the water going by her no. and she's over the ship. I'm just going to like run through it. So like make sure that. you guys are liking, subscribing. You're going to want to watch that for sure. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is day number three on our Icon of the Seas cruise. And today is a big day for both of us because we're doing the crown's edge today mom's actually going first and, and just about like one hour away so we're preparing ourselves for that should be a lot of fun especially with the ship moving going over the water we'll get to see the water below our feet and then we'll take the plunge and hopefully we don't fall into the ocean <laughs> so we should be capturing all that and i believe we even get a video with that i think i'm sure you have to pay for it well, we'll probably end up paying for it. Yeah. So we'll probably add that into here, I hope. That's the plan. But if not, I'll be on the side filming mom, and hopefully mom can get some video of me when we're doing that. But that's the big plan for today. And then, of course, we I think we're going to end day doing the, what's tonight's Aqua show? show? Aqua show. So, yeah. So first time for us to go into the Aqua Theater for the Aqua, or the Aqua Dome yeah. for that show. So it should be a lot of fun. The rest of the day, I think we're just going to kind of be hanging out. And yeah. maybe, I don't know if we do water slides today or not. We heard if the not, lines. Probably for sure tomorrow. Yeah, we heard the lines, or at least we've been reading, I've been reading on some of the lines on the Facebook group that some people have been waiting like 90 minutes to ride a ride. But of course, that was the first day at sea, so I think a lot of people yeah, were doing we'll that. We'll see. We may just do it when we're in port one day. Who knows? But anyway, Brown's Edge today, that's the big thing to do today. Everybody. Okay, hey, there's Jennifer. She's getting strapped in. She's gonna go across the rope bridge there and then go around and then fall and hopefully she's saved. You can see there's a weight right behind her. They test the weight on every certain ride and she's right before it. So hopefully it doesn't fail before they do a safety check. About to walk the plank. Crown's Edge and we survived. Yeah. How did, what did you think of it? It was fun. 
I think it was like a bigger drop than I expected. Oh, we, I, heard, I heard you scream. I'm <laughs> not sure if the audio was picked up on yeah. it or not, but yeah. I think it was pretty fun. I mean, yeah, it goes by really quick, and it is, it looks, it doesn't look so bad from the ground, but when you get up there, I mean, it's a little sketchy. Like, everything is fine. Yeah. I, I wasn't tall enough, like the bridge, I was on my tippy toes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was like... <laughs> the one big tip is to keep your arms stretched out so the camera that is recording you to get the best video possible. At least that's what I tried to do. I don't know. I can't remember if Jennifer did that it or is. not. We'll find out shortly, yeah. I guess, when we get the video. But anyways, we're going to go eat lunch now because the kids are getting hungry. We're going to probably do some face painting because we haven't done that yet. As you guys they know, that's... Adventure Ocean. They did go to the Adventure Ocean. Isla made an octopus. We've already found two ducks. And so now we're going to continue the adventure back at Surfside to get some snacks, churros for sure, like we told you yesterday, Definitely. you have to get those. I didn't get them after my dinner. Yeah, and then we'll probably head to the Windjammer and have a nice lunch. Everybody. A baby one? Where was that one at? Like, it was on those inside, right where those, like, the letters were. Over there? Yeah, by, by the third side. Wow. Mommy to find a drink. It has little sharks in it. Yeah. It is the ocean. This is pink mermaid. In, in Aria, you have Look, a glittery. <laughs> you have a mermaid in it, Aria. Isla has sharks and you have mermaids. So what is Isla's called? why there's sharks in it. Well, we just got back from Surfside and it actually wasn't too crazy. Some, it actually, even at uh, the Windjammer when we were eating, it didn't seem so crazy. With people that today, it's something seems to be a little off or, I don't know, maybe we're just early to doing everything today, but definitely seems a little strange for a sea day for some of the places we've been anyways to be not as crowded as we're used to seeing. I think especially the Windjammer. I feel like yeah. it's always difficult to find seats in there. Well they only had half of it open. Yeah. I mean that's how little people were there at the time. I don't know if it's just because people are going Maybe to Aqua. Spread out. Yeah the Aqua spread Market out. and eating there and finding other places. Because we're going at peak time too. Yeah right at noon. And we're always like finding a good table. Yeah but of course while we're down at Surfside uh, we think a kid may have pooped in the pool or or thrown yeah. up or something because they had the entire kids play area closed down and they were cleaning it so something had to have happened. Yeah. After of course, that, yeah. they kind of oh, got crowded. Yeah, the moment that that happened we noticed basically the crowd started going everywhere around in that area. It didn't leave the area. It just went from the pool to the carousel to the yeah. slide to the everything, the arcade and everything that's around there. We're still trying to find Rover. We can't find her anywhere so we're still on the hunt for her so maybe we'll run into her tonight. Who knows, we're hoping we at least see her one time on this cruise. We'll see. So I think that's what we're trying to do right now, is just go find Rover. Well guys, no luck in finding Rover so far, but of course it's no. only day three. We still have, what, four, three more days, <laughs> yeah. something like that. We're hoping we find her, but who knows, maybe not. It's not looking too good for us. Yeah, we'll see. That's because we're always stuck over at the uh, Surfside, yeah. but that's okay. <laughs> but for right now, we're going to take the kids to Adventure Ocean, then we're going to go see the Aqua, Aqua Show.
of the show. Now's the time to let's see it. Well, Aqua Show was pretty good. Uh, Jennifer doesn't think it's her number one, but definitely number two yeah. of all time Aqua Shows that we've seen. I don't know what that really says because we've only seen three I have to see or the four. Because in a couple of cruises, there was two different versions. Oh. <laughs> I can barely remember. I found it was pretty good, though. Uh, I thought the obviously the water coming down from the ceiling and that whole scene where the two were dancing and going between the water, that was pretty cool. I thought that was amazing. I think the starter was the best. Yeah, and of course, we got to see the first half pipe at sea. Jennifer had Not to go me. and get the kids because Isla called. Someone was <laughs> calling. But the only thing that Jennifer missed was the very end where they did the half pipe and of course the girl that was doing the solo dance on the stand doing some tricks and of course the boat. <laughs> <laughs> the ship was is really moving today, and I, yeah, you can tell hey. that she was having a little trouble staying balanced, but she did a great job. She never fell. She never fell over or did anything like that. She stayed right on cue, but you can tell that it was probably a little bit difficult because the ship is definitely rocking. So with that, guys, that brings us to the end of this day's video, and uh, tomorrow we're getting off in a new port we've yeah. never been to, St. Martin. So we're looking forward to seeing that. I think we're just going to go and enjoy the beach a little bit and maybe get back on the ship early Try and do some slides. slides. So stay tuned for that guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is finally time to get off the ship. We have docked in St. Martin, which is a port we've never ever docked in yeah, before or been, been to. Before. Yeah, that's right. So <laughs> should be interesting for us. I think our goal is to get to Mullet Bay today. Yeah and see what that it's beach is very like. Very pretty. <laughs> yes, it looks like a great beach to go to, so that's what our plan is today, and then get back onto Icon of the Seas and maybe do some water maybe. slides if there's time. We're trying to find a way to ride the rides and slides yeah. when there is no lines, and I went up there this morning and there's hardly anyone there. There's a couple people doing them already, but our goal is that one of these ports is to ride some of the water yeah. slides without having to wait in a long line. But today we're going to the beach and that's what we're about to head off the ship to do and hopefully it's gonna be amazing. We had a great view outside of our window but then a ship pulled in so I can't show you what that looks like but we'll show you what it looks like here. Yeah, maybe just... later. We officially made it to Mullet Bay and we've made some big time rookie mistakes already. Oh, now you're laughing? <laughs> so if you guys do come to Mullet Bay, it is a really, really nice beach, but I would totally recommend that you guys get a reservation for a place to be at because you really definitely need an umbrella. There's really no other place to sit, kind of like some of the other beaches we've been to. So you definitely want to get a reservation. So Jennifer well, there actually- is a place but you have to get here early to get it. Yeah. Which we didn't. Super early. So you if have you're to be not super getting early. off the ship first to grab a chair, you need a reservation somewhere. So we actually walked to the very end of the beach. I would say the north end of the beach and there's some trees and things like that that you can sit under, but when you have kids who want to eat and do all this other stuff, you definitely need reservations for somewhere to go to. So that's what we ended up doing. Jennifer walked over here to this place and they were nice enough to find us a place even though they were completely booked. So we're making the best of it. We're going to stay here for a little bit and probably have to head back to the ship because there's not actually a lot the kids will probably eat here actually. So the other thing, uh, the water is actually pretty rough here today uh, but I think the one beach that's closer to the port is actually nice and calm and so that's probably more recommended for families with kids who don't like to get into the waters or especially when there's bigger waves. We'll give a more in-depth review of what to do what not to do when we get back on the ship because right now we're gonna just spend as much time as we can here and enjoy what we can and then yeah probably not last very long but it is a really really nice beach. So what's nice about being here at Mullet Bay, like I said, there's not that many people here actually, especially when if you walk all the way down to this side of the beach where this kind of rock cliff is at, 
there's really not a lot of people. We were way down there underneath these trees. Like I said, that's actually a really nice place to be at if you don't want to pay for tables and chairs and things like that. And your kids don't need food. When we got here, we arrived way down here, right where all these umbrellas and things are at. And so we walked all the way down here, which is the less crowded place, obviously, because most people don't want to walk this far. The sand is a little bit difficult to walk in, so be prepared for that, and it's a little hot. So make sure you guys are wearing shoes that you can walk in the sand with. So like Jennifer said, you want to get here real early and you can get tables and chairs closer to where you get dropped off, which I think they dropped us off at a place called the Watering Hole. And there's a little taxi pickup service right there as well. If you walk all the way down here, you can probably uh, find out later what uh, this place is called, where you can make a reservation. You probably want to do that pretty early in advance before you go on your cruise. That will certainly help things out. The cool thing is, Mullet Bay is actually really close to Maho Bay, which is where all the planes come in. You can actually see the planes come in right here. Maho Bay is real, literally right around the corner so you can get that experience obviously not coming right over your head but you can get that kind of similar experience here at Mullet Bay and again without the crowded can of sardines of people crammed onto that little beach. <laughs> can fly your drone here. It's just a little sketchy because the planes are literally coming from just right over here and then of course landing over here at Maho Beach. So you got to be really aware of where all the planes are coming and going because sometimes they'll miss the landing. They'll have to turn around and kind of fly over in this area. So you have to be real cautious with that. So if you're new to flying, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're pretty good at what you're doing, it's probably feasible. Of course, you have to accept all these liabilities when you first open the drone app and things like that. Basically saying that uh, if anything crashes, it's on you and they'll track you. So make sure you guys are aware of that, but totally worth flying out here. It's so beautiful. I mean, just so much to see. The water is perfect. It's blue. It's a perfect day to be flying, not high winds or anything like that. So that worked out well for us. I don't know what to know yet. I've tried some time. Okay guys, if you're up for a hike and you want pure seclusion from everyone, all you have to do is climb up that rock face. It's actually not too bad. There's just a couple of spots where you have to really have a little bit of strength to get up. So if you have kids that can do all that and all that kind of stuff and you don't need to use the facilities or order any food, this spot right here guys is paradise. It's actually nice shade trees everywhere and you have perfect view out, out here to the ocean and see all the planes coming by is absolutely spectacular view from up here. everybody look at the most expensive hairstyle I've ever seen not gonna reveal the price just don't do <laughs> don't it, do it. <laughs> I thought I mean like well they get you 
Well, first we were just gonna do like a strand or something. And she was like, oh, well, that's 20. I'm like, oh, okay. But then she was like, but then we're like, well, we'll just braid this so it gets pulled back. And but then she was like, each braid is seven, but like they don't tell you how many braids you're doing. And they're tiny. So like they did Aria's full head without me knowing. Like they didn't tell me they were doing her full head. Look at Aria. Aria, let me see. Wow. You know, you got like gold on your head, girl. <laughs> Look freaking crazy, but I love it. You like it? And you're sandy. Woo wee. Well, guys, I was gone for a little bit and they spent our entire budget on hair braids. <laughs> we have just enough money to get back. Yeah, I was counting. I'm like, oh god, I hope we have enough money. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go get in the water and then we can probably start packing up and head back to the and ship. And then you're gonna carry me to, to the head back. Pretty. Anyone who comes here, it's amazing. We have kids that do not enjoy the beach, so I cannot enjoy it. Yeah, we have Better to do. Better luck at St. Thomas. We have to do other things. So hopefully at St. Thomas, which is supposed to be the most beautiful beach in the world, we'll have a little bit better luck. You're gonna get in the water with Daddy? Hello? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Get that hair wet. Woo! Way too rough to be swimming out here. guys well we're heading back and this is the name of the resort you got to check them out they've been amazing they really helped us out and yeah. uh, the food wasn't so bad either I don't think no. I didn't have any mom and the kids had some so we ate french fries and cheese sticks we had some fish but dad didn't want it so yeah I was gonna wait pretty good though. I was just gonna wait until we got back but yeah so that's the name of the place uh, awesome place definitely I think if we come back this is where we're gonna be oh yeah so so Definitely nice make of reservations. Them to fit us in somewhere. Yeah, we absolutely. We didn't have reservations, and one of the guys was very nice to let us have a little spot to ourselves. So yeah, that worked out. Absolutely. So that made the day much better. So we're heading back to the ship, and we'll give a full rundown of everything else when we get there. Well, after that insane water splashed on me there at the very end of the- You still have tons of sand on you. Uh, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I feel like getting back on the ship, I was walking there. You could probably follow me back from when we boarded. There's a trail of sand following me all the way down. I can feel it literally as I walked, just coming down my leg and uh, took a quick shower and still haven't got it all off. That was some crazy yeah, waves the there. Bad. I mean, like I kind of said before, if you're going to that beach, make sure that you're a really good swimmer or if you're with kids, if they have a life jacket. If you're with young kids, probably not the best spot. No. It's very beautiful, but very, like, yeah. you're going to get knocked over and your kids Well, are I mean, there was over. a little part of the video on one of the GoPro where there's this older lady, she had to be at least 50 years old, got 
And it was while me and Aria was there, just got wiped out. And you can see in the background, she's rolling around. <laughs> I mean, and you can get just sucked out into the ocean yeah. really quick. So you got to be careful with that. I mean, that's why I was with Aria at the top of the beach. I mean, we were still getting kind of thrashed around with that yeah. kind of water. So good day, but we definitely learned a lot today. Yeah. Totally agree. So starting with the One. port. Starting with the where we got off and getting attacked oh, yeah. let's start Forgot there because there, like i said there's a lot we have to cover here <laughs> and like i said we're major rookies we've never yeah, been here before here, so um so everything was new yeah so here's a little helpful tip when you get it off and you want to get a taxi there it's like chaotic right like almost most yeah. ports it's kind of like that but so with this one there is an entire line dedicated to maho beach because apparently that's where everyone wants to go yeah. I wouldn't really go there to be honest with you. The beach is so small and there's just tons of people there. So I, I mean, I would avoid that place as much as possible if you can, unless you just really want to see an airplane uh, come landing. But again, even at Mullet Bay, I mean, we saw tons of yeah, you planes, see planes coming they in. Just weren't flying right yeah, over not there. right over top of you. So you got to, you got to, yeah, you got to make a decision what you really want to do. But so there's an entire line for that at the taxi area and. Basically, you need like a wristband. You have to get a wristband and then you can get in line. But that's only for Maho Beach. Yeah, because, I mean, we were told so many different things by different people. We got in that line then they were like, no, you need to go back where you were standing. Because yeah. we were standing in front of a sign that said Mullet Bay, which I thought it, we didn't know if that was just a poster. Yeah. Like trying to like basically say, hey, you can go here. Or if that was <coughs> what you're supposed to do and stand in that line and comes out, that's what you're supposed to do and stand in that line, which is we kind of had a right, but we didn't know that. So basically, stand in line, and they just gather a bunch of you up and shove you into a van. There you go. Yeah. Basically, like, 12 people can fit in a van, and you all yeah. go to Mullet Bay together, which is good. It's, it obviously makes sense, kind of, like, getting everyone yeah. together. It's just it's not very clear. So make sure you guys understand that, and, if you, again, if you're taking a taxi ride, getting to any of those beaches, it doesn't have to be Mullet Bay, it doesn't have to be Maho Bay. There's other signs there yeah. that people are standing there, so just be aware of that. I know, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> so many pro tips on this. So, okay, so. Two. Yeah. Book a resort, or yeah. resort, like some kind some of, point. like, unless you're getting off the ship right when the gangway opens and going straight to the beach, you need to book somewhere at St. Martin, because we got there and everything was full it was hot. We have kids. Yeah, it you was have miserable. To, you have to, to have honest. an umbrella. You have to have chairs. You have to have yeah. that kind of stuff. Like I Michael said, went under a tree. I'm like, oh, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of places out there. Like I even showed you guys that up on the cliff. Obviously, if you have kids, it's hard to get up there and things like that. There's tons of places you can go without having to pay for that. You just gotta keep in mind. You need food. You need drinks. You need yeah. all that kind of stuff. And especially if you have kids, so keep that in mind. Definitely make reservations. Yeah. Three. Yeah. What else you got? Three <laughs> is leave with enough time because oh my gosh it took 30 minutes or so to 45 get there 45 is what the lady said oh. it took us 45 minutes which was longer than we had planned yeah. to begin with yeah that's true and so we what we had like two hours yeah, we, we left we, at three. Yeah, we, so had, we had two and a half hours to make it to our which gateway. Which typically is like tons of time. I'm yeah. not worried about that. Like never ever concerned about that. But guys, it took us two hours to get back. Two whole hours. The the island is just not prepared to handle. We well, had five ships. There's in port. just one road is the problem. There's yeah, like one, literally like, one road that you can take. Very narrow. And we hit like all the schools getting out. We should. I'm gonna. Michael should insert some pictures here that I took of him. Because he was freaking out. Well, yeah, because, I mean, to, I mean, guys, two hours to get back, and it, it, it's not even that far. But the problem is the driver, we were going back the same way we came, and he was like, no, I'm going to go the long way. We literally, I don't know if you know this, we literally went around the entire <laughs> island. Meaning, what, today driving we there, saw the whole island yeah, driving today. there, we went one way, the quickest way, direct access to it. The way going back, he decided to go through the French area, back through... The Dutch and, and I so, mean, he was trying. So yeah, like I don't fault him. I mean, I think he was trying to make it quicker, but it's like. But I think it would have been quicker had we not hit the schools getting out. That's the part. Yeah. We hit so many school kids getting out and things like that. We literally were sitting there for. It felt it was like. It felt like an eternity. Thirty minutes for like two miles. And so I'm sitting there on my phone just watching a Google map. Of course, I don't have any data or anything like that, so I can't see what the traffic or estimated time of arrival is. So. 
you know, you're really concerned, and or at least I was concerned. I'm like, oh my god, what are we gonna do? He is I freaking mean, out. You just saw the time in because you're just seeing that you're so far away from the port. You're on the other side of the island because of the way he went, and you're like, it took us 30 minutes to get to this point. So are we actually gonna make it? Are I wasn't worried. Yeah. Michael was making me worry, but I was not worried. I Je had faith. Yeah, Jennifer wasn't worried, but we did make it back. We only had 30 minutes. Yeah, we got to get on the back ship back at 5:04. Yeah, which is the latest we've ever. So guys, with this stuff, I obviously I left to go fly the drone and do things like that. And there wasn't a lot of people like trying to sell us stuff at the beach, which was good because Jennifer was reading that uh, one of the Facebook groups that we're a part of for the Icon that uh, a lot of the beaches that they went to, people went to, they were getting just hammered with people trying to sell them stuff, which is typical again for a lot of the places that but we go. But it does make it miserable. Like yeah, that's one it thing sucks. that can like make an experience feel like. It wasn't that great. And, and at the place that we were at, nobody, literally hardly any, there was probably one or two. I had a few yeah. ladies, only, I think mostly because I had kids. Yeah. Had I not had kids, they probably wouldn't have bothered me. Yeah. But I mean, like, it was like maybe four that came up to me. Yeah, and so by the time I left and came back, Jennifer's like, I pretty much spent all of her money. I was like, well, hopefully I have enough money to get home. So she was already stressing me out the whole time about just trying to get back on and have enough money to get back onto the ship. But that's all the learning tips that we learned today going to Mullet Bay. Totally cool place, awesome place. One of the Very best places I think I was able to fly a drone, which again, really sketchy, yeah. beware of that. But anyways, those were the tips and tricks. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you get something out of it. We're hungry because I haven't eaten all day, so we're going to go get some food right now. Oh my god, we found Rover. <laughs> yeah. I knew I would find Rover looking my worst. Well, we were, uh, me and Isla were standing in line to ride the carousel, and then right behind me, I was like, is that a dog? Oh my god, yeah. that's Rover. And Isla, it took Isla a little bit to understand. And we ran over and we got to meet her. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, guys, we totally forgot to end the video last night. We were having so much fun. I can't believe we saw Rover, like <laughs> she came out know. of nowhere. We were just standing there in line and I was here on she the came. table with Aria and I was freaking out. I was like, Michael, and I didn't even see you. <laughs> I didn't hear her say that. I was just standing in line, like I said, at the uh, carousel with I Isla and just, I just happened to just turn around and there she was. I'm surprised she was at Surfside. Yeah, I was completely surprised she was there because usually I would expect her to be away from wh where a lot of the kids are because she, I do feel a little bad for her because she kind of gets bombarded a little bit by all the kids and guests that want to see her. But it was pretty like chill at that time. Yeah. Oh yeah, so we rode the slides last night. It was late last night. They, apparently the slides open up until nine o'clock every night. Now not all the slides were open, just the ones where, oh, lens flare yeah. coming in. <laughs> Not all the slides were open, just the ones with the... Uh, three of them. Three. The two raft slides yeah. and then the one drop was that's, open. That's right. So that's a great time to actually ride the slides because there was hardly anyone in line. We never really waited that long like to ride, so five it worked minutes, out really well. Yeah. So we're officially here in St. Thomas, a place we've never been before, but like I said, we're just ending this video, so we'll start a brand new video here in just a second. <coughs> so make sure you guys are liking and subscribing because this is a brand new port for us, so it should be interesting. Hopefully we don't make all the same rookie mistakes we let made yesterday. So what's up guys? Good morning and welcome to St. Thomas. Can't believe we're already here. There was an interesting uh, flyby <laughs> with a helicopter or something going on. The celebrity I think is called Ascent Apex, something like that was also coming into port, so I think they were doing some kind of photo well, shoot. Well, there's three ships. Oh, three. There's three ships in the Royal, like, ship line. I don't know, like, the significant. They're all sailing at the same time, so Royal set up this big photo shoot. There's, like, a helicopter doing a photo shoot around them. So I think we were all, like, dropped in the middle of the ocean for a while doing a little photo shoot. Ascent might be coming, but the other one was heading the other way. I think we're going to plan on going to Megan's Meg yeah. Bay or Beach, whatever it's called. It's supposed to be the most beautiful beach in the world, so that's what we're intending to do today. It's a perfect day. Yeah. Weather feels great. Should be a lot of fun.
So it's actually called Maggins Bay. So mispronouncing it earlier, but we're trying to get on one of these open air shuttles to get to Maggins Bay. I think that's how you get there. So we'll check and find out and let you guys know. We made it to Megan's Beach. They actually told us the local was pronounced Megan. So I actually had it right the first time. It's not Baggins or whatever Google told us how to say it. But this beach is absolutely stunning, beautiful. To get here, we did take a little taxi. It is an outdoor shuttle bus, and it's kind of like riding in a Fast and Furious movie yeah. on the side of the cliff. Got here safely. Luckily, I thank God they must change their brakes every week because up and down, up and down terrain is pretty crazy. But this beach is beautiful. I think we're going to enjoy it. We're going to stay here for a little bit. It kind of looks like it's raining off or at least thundering off in the distance here. So I'm going to try to fly my drone as fast as I can. Hopefully it doesn't rain on us, but because this way it's nice and sunny. Michael couldn't get his drone uh, remote to work, so he took a taxi back to the port to try to get his charger to figure it out and come back. So, really? That is not good. Looks like me and Ari are gonna go play in the waves again. Are these big waves or small waves compared to yesterday? Big or small? I think these are a little bit smaller, but they're still a little bit big. So we have to be careful. Big. Yeah. Sand going everywhere again. You think that's a big one coming? Here comes the little one. Oh. Ow, Chihuahua. Oh. <laughs> this one's a big one. Look out! Oh. Look, here comes another one. Uh oh! Look out! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Just in time! <laughs> I think you jumped high enough. Oh no, you gonna jump? Yeah. Get ready, get ready. Jump now, jump now. Stand up, stand up. Pick up, pick up. 
Okay, 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 here it goes. Okay, gonna see if the heart works. We officially made it back from the beach and it was actually a really really nice beach it was a little wavy and choppy out there today we're both pretty exhausted you can see mom's already in bed from all the walking yeah another day at sea tomorrow at megan's bay it was pretty nice to be there but again the waves are pretty high especially on the south side of the island which is where we were at now you want to get there really really early it got really busy probably around 10 o'clock probably because a lot of the uh, shore excursions and things like that that are ending at Megan's Megan's Bay go there around that time and then people really start getting there so if you're not doing something through the cruise itself then you can just grab a taxi and get there and that's exactly what we did uh, if you get there early like especially if you want cool pictures like you have like an hour or more depending on the time you get there you can get all that done and then you can just enjoy and then by the time everyone else gets there you'll kind of be on your way out yeah and getting a taxi there was really really easy actually there was actually uh, wasn't where we showed you at the beginning with the video Video. It was right around the corner. There's a sign that said taxi and takes you there. And again, it's still these uh, open air shuttles. Like we said, though, it's kind of like being in a Fast and Furious movie going around really quick and around and around and around. Like I was on a roller coaster. Like I had to close my eyes. Yeah, they drive fast and they aren't afraid of taking a turn really sharp. It's like winding on some tall mountain. And they're on the wrong side. Yeah, that's the other part of it. Thank you guys. I couldn't actually find my drone today because at Megan's Bay, it's not allowed. And then also, so for some reason my controller's not working. It's really weird because obviously yeah. flew it yesterday and now the battery is just not charging. It's not on. I had a full battery when I put it up last night and then when we got to the beach today and wouldn't work. Which I couldn't fly it there anyways because there is a sign that says you can't fly your drone there. But I was going to try to fly it outside the port and get a few views of the ship. I couldn't do that either. But that's okay. So I can't fly the drone the rest of the trip anyways because next stop is Coco K after a full day at sea tomorrow. And I think now we're just going to get some bites as you can see. Mom's already got churros. Kids are playing around all you have the rest of the day until kind of day So I had a great day at the beach. Obviously, it was awesome to be able to do the heart shape oh, in yeah. the sand. That was finally that worked out. I got out. to participate. <laughs> yeah, that worked out really well because mom didn't get to do it at all on the last cruise because no. every time she was there for doing that, either bad sand or I wasn't there. Yeah, this sand was absolutely perfect for that so that worked out spectacular the only bad maybe thing maybe we'll be back well that's where Without i was going kids. that's where i was going with this bit, <laughs> but not maybe with the kids i don't know whatever no, uh, but not. what i was gonna say was uh just because the drone wasn't working and of course it's now i guess the camera or the controller is completely dead 
we definitely have to come back to get the footage that I wanted to get. There Maybe. gives us an excuse to come back. Maybe we'll do it next year. Same cruise, same itinerary, with more people. I'm gonna fly in. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's another great day coming to an end. Yeah. Oh, technically, we actually have a show, and I think we totally forgot about it. It's the uh, Mosaic. Tonight? Yeah, the uh, band that was like on America's Hot They're like Talent. acapella. Yeah, so I don't know if we'll go, uh, but I think it's supposed to start at 7, 7.30. So yeah, totally forgot. That's what happens when you get on vacation, oh. I suppose. But that's what we're supposed to be doing tonight. I think we're going to hit up Windjammer, but if we're going to get to the show, well, I don't know what don't we're know about to do. Gonna... Yeah, we're probably not going to do that show. That's okay if we miss that one, I think. Yeah. Tomorrow, guys, is going to be big because we're going to Coco K. Never mind. <laughs> Tomorrow, guys, is going to be an at-sea day, so we'll likely end up spending most, if not all, of our arcade money probably tomorrow. We had a $100 limit. We checked today, and I think we're at 45 or 42 left, which is kind of crazy. But got to understand, the games, each time we play, is like $3 for a credit or whatever like that. So it's really expensive. So if you guys do come on the ship with kids, you definitely want to get that early boarding resale purchase where yeah. you pay, I think... You uh, get a percentage. Yeah, off. it was like 30 20% something like that which definitely helps a lot you get a few more games in there for the same amount of money so guys we're gonna wrap things up right now but man what a view i usually do a lot of editing right here get a look out of the view and uh gonna miss that when we get off the ship but doing as much editing as i can but obviously it takes a little bit of time because we're staying up so late and i'm not having a lot of time to do it which is better than hopefully early night tonight yeah so hopefully i can get a few videos uh wrapped up before we get off the ship at least one more, hopefully two more, and then I can wrap things up at home. But for now, guys, tomorrow's a sea day. We're wrapping things up. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Megan's Megan's Bay. Megan's Bay. Megan's Beach. Check it out. What's up guys? Welcome to day number six on Icon of the Seas and it is our last sea day because tomorrow we will end up in perfect day at Coco Cay to be exact and that will be our last day on the ship, believe it or not. And we'll be back in Miami the next day. So for today, I think we're going to try to do a little bit of exploring and try to hide all of our ducks because we got a bunch of those. we got to play some arcade, get rid of all that money so we don't have it on the card at the end. Even probably check out Deserted, which yeah. we haven't done. We've walked by it a few times. I don't think kids have noticed. I haven't noticed. even noticed. I haven't either. Why? Well, there you go. So I've been probably the only one who's noticed and knows where it is, but we probably check that out as well. And maybe just check out a few of the pools. I know there's one pool that people say is never really ever used, and it's actually on the side of the ship, so we, if there is nobody there, we may check that out as well. But we have a fun day planned, and we got a late start today, so we're going to go and hit Fill up lunch. our bellies. We're going to go and get lunch at the Windjammer, because most people... Are getting pretty hangry. Survived round one of the Surfside Beach, and we are about to punish ourselves even more. I don't think it's going to be that bad when we <laughs> Surprisingly enough, the kids want to go swimming at the uh, pool down there. Isla met a friend who has convinced her to go swimming. Yeah! So that's right. yeah We're going with you. it. Right, Isla? What's your friend's name? Madeline. Madeline. So yeah, so uh, we're going to go try swimming. We did try deserted. Uh, I think they messed up our order. Yeah. <laughs> 
They, they messed it up. I know. I'm, I asked yeah, no, for yeah. vanilla. We asked for vanilla because that's what I wanted. Of course, then <laughs> this one right here wanted strawberry, and we couldn't get anyone to agree. Guess but what we got? Yeah, we got chocolate. So. Okay. <laughs> so we'll probably try that again later. And through, through this whole process, Mom lost an earring in the whole thing went until Dad found it. <gasps> Where? <laughs> so while we were down there, we did run into Rover once again, yeah. which is pretty cool. And, and, we, and she's bigger and bigger. She got bigger? I don't think she got bigger than the last two days. Maybe. <laughs> I saw. We saw her down at Surfside again, which is kind of crazy. We didn't think we would see her down there because it was kind of yeah. crazy down yeah. there today. Never especially they had a lot of, of events and things like that going down there when we were down there. But yeah, she did come out there. I would say her handlers do a great job of crowd control and keeping her nice and calm and not being overrun by yeah. kids, which is pretty great. So yeah. they do a great job on that. So, an easy job. Yeah. So we're heading back down there to have some water fun. Entire pool to ourselves, even the splash pad. Everyone went away. Well, somebody's at the splash pad. Not many. We had this entire pool to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually formal night, and more importantly, not just formal night, but lobster formal night. Yeah, lobster. <laughs> Which we And my favorite pasta. Yeah. But we're not going. We're not participating in that. Obviously, you guys know already from one of our past videos, we said we're not actually doing any of the formal nights or actually anything in the main dining just because, well, we really didn't feel like doing it, but they also messed up the reservations. Which... Mainly because we don't feel like it. We can yeah. still go if we want. Oh, yeah. they've Every time we go to the wind jammer, it seems like someone comes over and begs us to go to yeah. <laughs> the main dining. They've which called is... us. Yeah. They've talked to us like two or three times in the wind jammer. Yeah. So. It's nice to know that they want us to go there, but it's just... Yeah. This, this cruise, we're opting out. Just very casual, this cruise. Yeah, so. exactly. We packed light and did Literally light. wearing, like, I don't think I've ever dressed this casual. But, yeah, so I can't believe how empty the pool was. We had it basically entire, entirely to ourselves. Isla actually got in. Yeah, I was surprised by that. And she got in and stayed and did a lot of things like swimming and jumping. And yeah. The only bad thing is the sun was like behind the clouds and yeah. not out, so it's pretty cold. It got really cold, so that's part of the other reason probably why there wasn't a whole lot of people, yeah. but mainly probably because it's formal night. Getting ready for dinner. Because obviously when we were walking back, there's a lot of people getting dressed up and taking photos. Hopefully we can take some photos tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll get the family photo that mom's yeah. been dreaming of. So we're going to go find out what they have for Windjammer and then probably walk back through Central Park because I really haven't taken any video of that at night. And we'll wrap up the day with that.
Well, guys, you can see it's morning. I totally forgot to close the video last night yeah. because she had me running around the ship looking for an alien. <laughs> they're so cute. They're like the little Toy Story um, aliens. Yeah, aliens. basically they're the duck version of, but an alien. It doesn't look like a duck. It's just similar to hiding cruise ducks. So we saw a post on Facebook that there was two: one in Surfside and one at the track. And one on Promenade. Yeah, that was never going to happen because that place was crazy last night because there was a huge party going on. So I went through the track. I walked it like twice, which I think equates to like a mile or something like that, looking for, for an alien. And then I was like, well, while I'm out, I might as well go check Surfside. I did find a duck while I was at Surfside. It was in a mailbox, which is interesting. That's the first time I've seen the mailbox. Couldn't find the alien. Oh, well, no big deal. We're in Coco Cay right now, so we're going to wrap things up, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. So make sure you're liking, subscribing, because this is our first First time in Perfect Day at Coco yeah. Cay, and it should be fun. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what happened? Is it the last day of the cruise? <laughs> That's a nice hat you got on there. Where'd you get it? <laughs> Check in with the GCs.com. Get your own hat too. Shameless plug. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is our final day on the cruise ship of Icon of the Seas and we're ending it at perfect day at Coco Cay and it truly is a perfect day outside. Nice and sunny. It is a little cool I think. I, it feels windy. Yeah, at least from up on deck 9 on the Icon it feels a little windy so we'll see what happens when we actually get down in the sun and not being shaded by another cruise ship which is Mariner of the Seas that's in port with us today. Hopefully it's not too crazy crowded but I have yeah. a feeling it's going to be but that's why we're going to try to get off the but ship. But it's pretty a pretty big island yeah, so, so hopefully we're able to find the spot. Yeah, find a spot and maybe the kids will go to the splash park a little bit, the one that's free <laughs> the one that yeah. uh, costs money. Our kids aren't tall enough to do anything like that. So we're about to head out, explore Perfect Day at Coco Cay for the first time, and see what that's all yeah. about, and then come back to the ship, maybe ride some rides and slides. Who maybe knows? Dad. Maybe yeah, Dad. maybe. I mean, we haven't done any of that. That just shows how large this well, cruise ship we is. we did the slides, but we did, I guess we did video. Well, yeah, we did the uh, tandem raft, raft rides and things like that, but so we did two out of six rides. Again, just shows you how large the ship is, and you know, if your well, family. it's hard to do it with young kids. I mean, when you're when you're a family, it's hard to do a whole lot of things other than surfside and things like that. Especially if you're with your kids, monitoring them, supervising them, and things like, like we that. We can't just leave them. Yeah, exactly. It just means we have to do this all we over again. We have to come back again. Oh <laughs> so, man, we really need to to be able to enjoy everything. Yeah. So we're already thinking Grandma about that, Papa. planning that. We'll see when that happens. So guys, make sure you're liking, subscribing. Right now, we're heading to Perfect Day at Coco Cay. What I would do for you Coco Cay and we're in between the cove which is this direction through the forest and, and South, South Beach. Beach and when we got off or when we were getting off we were told that probably the best place to go is just turn left and there's a lot of little like a little cove cove like areas it. where kids can go and play which is nice <laughs> but it's not really the water the real water yeah and it was really choppy over there and there was a lot of people so we decided to walk all the way down to here and there's actually cabanas on each side in between are a bunch of tables and chairs which there's actually not that many and that's the best place to be I think because there's not a lot of people over here on this side and it's right by restrooms and also right by the food shack. So if you want a secluded spot with kids especially our age and a little space to play and beautiful water where it's not as windy or choppy this is the place to be. So all you gotta do is look for the cove entry sign and head straight for the beach from that point don't go through that spot. <laughs>
Well, the water was super cold to jump into, but once you're in, you get used to it. It's not so bad. There's not really a lot of sea life around on this side. Maybe it's probably like that throughout the island. There's a few fish here and there. See a little shell. I guess it's a conch shell or something like that, like you would see on Moana. I'm going to keep swimming. There's another little cove spot right here that looks, doesn't look like there's a whole lot of people there either, which is just past where we're sitting at. So that may be another great spot to hang out if you come here. to leave the beach area to come to Splash Away Bay to let the kids play in the water park that is actually free. Turned out to be a great idea. So it looks like there's a bunch of water slides and even a pirate ship that's across the way that we're gonna check out and hopefully the kids have some fun. Dropped on you. Yeah. Let's <laughs> go on one more slide. Okay, let's go on one more slide. All right, go on one more, and then we'll go to the pirate ship. getting really cold and probably hungry. She only ate french fries here. So they're gonna head back to the ship. Me and Isla are gonna hang out for a little bit longer and then meet them back on the ship. Coco K and well, Coco K was a lot of fun, but yeah, we Coco really Coco it really was. But we really only explored like I don't know, twenty yeah, percent of it's so big. Just know the reason why we have to come back, which I think we're already thinking right. about doing. So <laughs> the question is when. Yeah, who knows when? So that's why you guys have to be liking, subscribing, because we're definitely do it all over again, and we'll even do it even better because we're no longer rookies. At... Now I know. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna go try a couple of the water slides while the kids are getting ready because mom's already ready and we're gonna go take some photos and things like that around the ship and I haven't done all the water slides yet. Just another reason why we have to do this all over again because there's still so much more to do on the ship. So hopefully I can do a couple water slides and maybe even the flow ride. <laughs>
water slides were a lot of fun, especially the orange one. The orange one was pretty intense while I was waiting in line, which line wasn't really too bad. It took a little bit of time just because there was like two or three people that basically chickened out when the door closed. And I can understand why. I mean, it gets pretty intense. I mean, you're standing there with your legs crossed. You're looking down and it's just a straight drop. If you're just standing on a floor that you know is going to fall out on you. And it's like, it's pretty crazy. And it goes really fast. It's hard to keep your eyes open, especially if you wear contacts and things like that, like I do, to keep your eyes open and with water splashing you and things like that. It's hard to see, but it is really cool to see if you can keep your eyes open, all the lights and things that are going through the tunnel. Obviously, I can't get a camera on there because it's pretty well secured once you get onto the <laughs> stairs and even go up the stairs and they check you and everything like that. So hard to get any kind of camera on there. So no shots of that, but I'm telling you, it is a lot of fun if you do get a chance to ride it. So I think now me and Isla are going to go and get a milkshake for round two because obviously they messed up our order the other day. Yep. Isla didn't eat any of that. So we're going to go try and get a vanilla milkshake yes. and hopefully that works out this time. And then after all that, well, I think we're going to go and take some photos, go eat dinner and things like that. Ara is passed out over there. Try to pack up. Yep. Today's the last day. Tomorrow. Yeah, got to get our luggage out and everything like that. <laughs> Mission success, a vanilla milkshake with Oreos around the side. Is it good? All right. Well, guys, that brings the end to our iconic adventure on Icon of the Seas. Like we said many times on this trip, it's almost like we have to do it all over again because there's still a lot to do and explore. Not that it's ruined any of our trip. We had an amazing time. It's just... We there's, have unfinished business. That's right. There's lots to do still. So we'll definitely be back. We don't know when, but for sure, we'll definitely be back. You'll have to like and subscribe for that. So with that, guys, we're going to go from one iconic adventure to another <laughs> iconic adventure that could possibly top this trip. We have no idea. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be hard to do. Stay tuned for that. We still haven't released what exactly we're doing yeah. for that. Way different. It's only, what, two months away. Two months away. So planning for that, got to get back home, start back to exercising, <laughs> eating right, getting in shape for that amazing adventure coming up. So guys, make sure you're liking, subscribing. We're about to head home, get our dog's reaction, and we maybe even do one last checkup to see what the kids like the most about the ship. Okay. Here we go. Oh, and we got a piece. <laughs> <laughs> well, the dogs certainly missed us on our trip there, but it was great to get home and see them again. Rover can only do so much for us while we're on the cruise. But as we said many times in this video in particular, we're definitely gonna have to go back. But Minnie, oh, that's an interesting take there. <laughs> definitely gonna have to go back, whether it's on a cruise, probably do both. Go back on a cruise again and maybe not on a cruise again and see what that compare and contrast like for us since we've done many cruises and we hardly ever get to go outside of, of a cruise. Speaking of so many trips, we have another <laughs> epic adventure coming up. But first we have Easter and even mom's birthday and our anniversary. So we got a few things before we get to that trip. But so you guys are gonna have to like, subscribe, stay tuned. It's gonna be epic, it's gonna be amazing. We'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, that's right, see ya, bye. <laughs> that almost dropped on you. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>